So I recently got a job offer as a software engineer from Google and I turned it down. Here's why. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Afraz. I'm a staff engineer at Facebook and today I wanted to share the story about a recent interview loop that I went through, got an offer, turned it down. To set a little bit of context, I recently decided a few months back that it was time for a change in terms of my day job. Now that meant of course, going through a ton of interviews. Now I was fortunate enough to land a couple offers from the likes of Snap, Robinhood, Facebook, Google, DoorDash, and some others. Now Google was definitely towards the top of my list in terms of who I really wanted to nail the interviews for, land an offer, get that Noogler hat, and become a Googler. Now I remember when I got the call from my recruiter that the hiring committee had approved my hiring decision and I was ecstatic. Little did I know that I'd be turning it down a week later and going elsewhere. And with that being said, let's dive into the reasons why I turned it down. So the first reason is really due to culture and speed. I'm at a point in my career where I really want to be building things quickly shipping them and seeing the fruits of my labor. Now, whether that means consumer facing features on iOS, internal tools for other engineers, or something in the middle. Now, the general idea and impression that I've gotten from current friends that are Googlers or long timers at the company, or even talking to folks in leadership throughout my interview loop was that things move methodically and generally a little slower than perhaps elsewhere. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that approach, but again, it came down to what I wanted to do myself in terms of a next career move. The builder in me would honestly be a little disheartened if my work didn't see the light of day after pouring so much effort and energy into building something. That brings us to reason number two, and that is the focus on enterprise work. Now, what on earth does that even mean? One big impression that I got after talking to tons of folks uh, throughout my interview loop and going through the team selection slash matching process is that Alphabet, aka Google's parent company, has a tremendous focus 2022 and beyond into acquiring enterprise customers. Now, from a business perspective, this makes a lot of sense given the need for a healthy business to diversify. And from a engineering perspective, what this translates to is a lot of the cross org and initiative work that I would you know, perhaps be leading would err on the side of building for enterprise. Now, what does that actually look like? That looks like things like Google Cloud, that looks like infrastructure to support other enterprise services that others can build on top of your work, so on and so forth. Now, there is nothing wrong with enterprise work and it is extremely impactful work and frankly, it is some of the strongest and healthiest work from a financials perspective, cough, cough, Microsoft, but it's something that I wasn't intended on doing in the near term. You know, having worked on something a little more enterprise skewing recently, it was really up my wheelhouse to go and find something that is more consumer leaning, even if it's in infrastructure work, work that is supporting engineers building for consumers, that billion user uh, mark for daily active users, 2 billion daily active users and beyond, these monstrosities numbers that are reaching, you know, every edge and corner of the world. So that brings us to the next reason, reason number three, and that is the team selection and matching process. Now, the way that Google team selection and matching works, for those of you who aren't aware, once you clear the general interview and get the vote of approval from the hiring committee, often referred to as HC, you start going through this team matching process where your packet is circulated with perspective managers and teams and you have these fit calls where you decide if you find the work interesting, 
frankly, if the manager likes you, if you vibe with the team, what they're doing, and if they see a role for you on that team. Now, I went through team selection and was fortunate enough to have a lot of teams reach out early, and a lot of them were actually very well-regarded and very well-known teams that I will leave out of this video for sake of privacy. But one thing that struck me as interesting from some other offers were that some of them offered experiences where you could rotate through teams and make the choice on your own instead of having to pick up front. Now, obviously, for those of you who are aware, I am referring to Facebook slash Meta's bootcamp process, where you really had the choice to go through, you know, a variety of teams and even different platform teams that touch, you know, any part of the stack, the top, the bottom, the infra, the language, the compiler, and really make that final call yourself. The other really cool thing about uh, the team selection process that, you know, swayed me away from Google is you might not even know what is out there in terms of picking a team. It's one thing to know what team you want to be on and go directly to it. And it's another thing to be in this discovery phase where you learn about something totally new that you might be incredibly passionate about. So that brings me to the fourth and final reason. And this reason actually took me a little bit of time to come up with a, a coined you know, word slash title for, and I decided to call it risk appetite. Now, it's no secret that Google is a very mature and healthy business. They have their ups and downs like any industry and any company, but engineers are very well regarded, very well taken care of at Google, and presumably will continue to be so. That all being said, I'm at a point where I feel that I can take a little bit of a risk and try to go build a zero to one product or work on you know, internal tooling for a zero to one product with perhaps a bit of a more uh, investment based approach to the future. Now, does that mean you know what Google is doing and the way they're doing things is bad? It's poor? Absolutely not. In fact, I'm making this video on YouTube, which is, as a lot of you may know, a Google product. And boy, is it an amazing product. So that all being said, you know, will I see myself at Google at some point in the future? Perhaps. Frankly, I probably think I will end up there in one way, shape, or form in the future. Now, is that time the present? Absolutely not. Was I beyond ecstatic to meet some of the most intelligent and kind people throughout my interview and land that offer, that very sought out after Google offer letter? Absolutely. It was one of the greatest experiences I've had the pleasure of taking, taking a part of, and I'll definitely have those connections for a long time to come. So those are the reasons that I ultimately turned down a software engineering job offer from Google, very unexpected. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would have done given the offers that I had from Snap, Robinhood, Google, uh, Facebook, you know, all across the board at the same level. And let me know if you guys are interviewing yourselves. I'd love to know. Let me know if there is any way that I can make content to help folks out. If you haven't done so already, start by dropping a like down below before you click away. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Connect on all the socials, LinkedIn, Twitter. You guys know the drill. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.